hi all so in this video we will talk about uh, security access so till now we have covered a diagnostic session control ECU reset and tester present so in this uh, video I am going to explain security access so this is the important concept uh, we should know about this security access communication control and DTC this both I will explain you later but uh, let's say uh, if I explain about uh, what is security access so security access in UDS is a feature that protects uh, certain diagnostic functions ensuring only authorized user can access them why do, uh, why do we need uh, security access so when the vehicle is diagnosed, diagnosed in a garage then how vehicle knows that the tool is authorized or not so the integrity of diagnostic tool is checked by the diagnostic tool so uh, while uh, in in the in the running issue so running issue can be restarted or behavior of the issue can be changed if there is no security access so that's why we need security access so if i if i uh, if you think like with the real world uh, imagine uh, like this uh, think of UDA security access as a security system in a house with locked rooms that require a special key to enter so your house you are in in your house so think like it is a car so you are in uh, you are in you are sitting in a your, your room so that is your locked room or any safe room so that is your protected functions protected functions of the car and key is like will act like security access code and process is like unlocking the room so <clears throat> so like this so house this is the house that is vehicle uh, or your car is like a house with various rooms rooms here rooms means ecus that control different functions like engine brakes uh, wiper washer and doors and locked rooms Logged room is like protected functions which I have discussed in reprogramming the issue. So uh, some rooms in the house have valuable or sensitive items, critical functions like reprogramming the issue and are logged to prevent unauthorized access. And key, key you can think like security access code to unlock these rooms. To unlock these rooms, you need a special key. Uh, in UDS, this key is a security access code or set key algorithm. Now, the fourth one is process unlocking the room. Unlocking the room means um, there will be uh, four uh, four steps. So, uh, request access. So, think like you knock on the you knock on the door and ask for access. So, that is like similar to send a request for a seed from your diagnostic tool to uh, issue. Now receive challenge, get, that is get seed. The person inside gives you a challenge, seed value. So ECU has given you a, some random uh, uh, number, that is seed value. Now solve challenge, like uh, calculate key. You solve the challenge, use, like use an algorithm to calculate the key. Okay, that will be the cryptographic algorithm, uh, which, which, uh, which are shared by both ECU and tester tool. And the last one is unlock door like you are sending key after getting the uh, key from the algorithm so you provide the correct key to unlock the door that is send the calculated key now the fifth one is authorized access if the key is correct the door unlocks and you gain access to the room if it is incorrect the door remains locked so that is uh, i have connected this security access with the real world example so so the security access service ID is 27, request ID and response ID is plus 40, that is 67, and it is a part of the diagnostic and communication management group. And its sub-function is 01 seed and 02 key. So this one uh, I will explain. I will explain now. So so if I talk about a uh, same key 2701, if you see uh, 2701. So you have sent this uh, request ID to, e to ECU from your diagnostic tools. So in response, you, you will get 6701 and this two, uh, JJ and KK. That is random uh, number generated by ECU. Okay, and it is given to uh, diagnostic tools. 
so if i talk about a so when positive response is received 2701 is request and responses that is this is the uh, key uh, jj and kk which we have received and if uh, <coughs> yeah, if it is negative response then uh, 7 f 67 and 22 22 is any such function like condition not correct like we when we uh, because his car is running and you are sending you are trying to get security access so in that case you will get this nrc okay so this is the uh, for positive response and you now you you got this uh key random number that is seed value now you have seed value that is of two byte jj and kk now if you uh, now <coughs> to get the key okay so uh what we have to be so first how integrity of the issue can be checked that is through security access 27 so uh using this 2702 2702 ppq that is send key key request so how uh, now uh, you have question how how this ppqq uh, has come so this ppq it is generated by while passing the seed value jj and kk to the algorithm so we have got this seed value jj and kk if you pass this so through cryptographic algorithm the internally uh, it is passed to the algorithm jj and kk and uh, and it is uh, this uh, key value is generated pp and qq uh, based on seed value based on seed value jj and kk ecu and tester tool will pass seed value that is jj and kk through algorithm since ecu and tester tool both uh, will have some uh, same algorithm so they will generate two byte of key value that is pp and qq so now uh, you 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 were thinking how how this pp and qq come so you have send a seed value and you have got random number jj and kk here jj and kk so based on this seed value uh, because ccv and tester tool both uh, both will be sharing the uh, same algorithm so based on that cryptographic algorithm two byte of key value will be generated that is pp and qq okay and when you give this pp and qq like uh, 279 this uh, 2702 ppqq and this the positive response uh, you received if if this uh, ppqq matches with the seed value that is generated by ecu then positive response uh, will be generated means ecu is unlocked so once ecu is unlocked and if you give ecu reset then it will uh, it will give po positive response otherwise negative response you will get like this if your key is uh, incorrect or you, uh, you that is not authorized tool if you are using unauthorized tool and you are generating trying to generate uh, uh, key and you are trying to generate seed value then it will give a negative response if it is unauthorized but here uh, we have generated successfully uh, this key value so our receive is unlocked and you can do further uh, uh, process like reprogramming the ECUs. So if I summarize this uh, security access, so you are sending this 2701 and ECU is generating uh, two bytes of random number and it is giving to test uh, tester tool. Now based on this seed value, okay, this is the this JJ and K KK is uh, remember seed value. So based on this that seed value, this uh, key value, this key value will be calculated. Since uh, ECU and tester tool both will be sharing the uh, same cryptographic algorithm which is given by OEM to their supplier. So based on that seed value, this uh, key value will uh, PP and QQ is, uh, is calculated. And if you give the same this request, then ECU will be unlocked using so indicating this positive response.